Hey guys. All right, I'm not sure anybody's gonna come on, so I'm just gonna launch into it. Uh, so, as the title says, why I left and why I'm back. Uh, last year was a really interesting year for me. 2016 was such a massive year of growth in my business financially and every other way. It was kind of the best year I'd had. Although I looked at my finances for last year and last year, 2016, 2017 was by far my greatest financial success but it really didn't feel like it because it felt like pulling teeth a lot of the time and so I had some experiences with clients that weren't great you know and I just or old clients and just was really fed up with excuses I was fed up with people not taking responsibility for their own success um, I was really fed up with people expecting um, you know the, the the magic bullet you know and so many people that had come into my circle were people who basically handed over responsibility and said, you know, fix this for me. And I think we've all done that, it's, you know, to some extent when we've been really struggling with our business or struggling to work out what to do next. And so we go to a coach and we just hope that they're going to solve all the problems for us. And it's only when you're in it that you realize, you know what, the only person that's going to, you know, turn this around or, um, you know, do the inner work on this stuff is me. Um, but not a lot of people are actually prepared to roll up their sleeves and do that stuff and take responsibility. And I'd become really frustrated with that. Um, and the other thing that I became really frustrated with was the industry at large, you know, the coaching industry. It just seemed like such a wank and I kind of didn't want to play anymore. You know, I saw a lot of people who, um, you know, had some small success and then they decided they were going to be coaches or there were just so many lies going on, you know, and I would go in the groups and, you know, and I knew behind the scenes a lot of stuff as well because I have a lot of, you know, entrepreneurial friends and a lot of what was going on behind the scenes wasn't the same as what was being shown and, you know, I just had enough and I really just needed to get back to being me. I needed to get back to, you know, everything that was everything that made me great and everything that made me feel strong and empowered and all of those things and some of those things had fallen by the wayside you know and not deliberately um, my hips you know the constant you know injuries with my hip meant that I wasn't able to train in Taekwondo and that's really my anchor for you know my life really if I'm training regularly then I, I can easily tap into what grounds me and who I am so that wasn't happening um, you know I'd lost some friendships because there was some dishonesty and behind the scenes play going on and stuff like that and it just was a year where I wanted to well the last few months anyway or the last I think I really started to feel the frustration around about February something like that last year so 12 months ago and um, I just continued to retreat because the more I looked at the industry and about and the world that was surrounding me at the time, it was just disappointing. And I felt like I was giving up a part of myself if I continued to play that game. And you know, if you're not sure what game I'm talking about, it's the it's it's hard to even say really, but it's just the I guess the smoke and mirror stuff, you know, and what I found was that it became harder and harder and harder to set myself apart from everybody else in my industry and everybody was kind of lumped in the same, um, it's all a bunch of bullshit sort of <laughs> phase, you know. Back, back when I started using the six figure success language and all the rest of it, that was still something that was um, okay to use you know because we were that was the the milestone that everybody had been working towards and so and and it was kind of common in the entrepreneurial space that you know that first milestone is six figures but now everybody's promising to get you there in five minutes and it watered down that message and it's not believable anymore it's not a credible message anymore uh, and there was so much of that you know and I, I watched in my industry as you know one woman after another pivoted in their business you know so many women entrepreneurs who were doing similar stuff to what I was doing basically went I don't want to play anymore either 
And so they all had a big pivot. And so a lot of people um, in my industry who um, are coaches who are kind of known and have been doing the work for a long, a long time, um, we all got really fatigued and we all basically looked around and just went, our industry's turned to shit. It really has. And so, yeah, well, a lot of us just didn't want to play anymore. We pivoted, we changed direction, all that stuff. So that's kind of where last year was at for me. And I found it really painful, to be honest, because this is an industry that I really, really love. You know, I love working with entrepreneurs. I love helping female entrepreneurs. I absolutely love it. You know, it's what I do well. It's the thing that I really love. You know, I've always worked in the space of empowering women. And so originally it was through fitness, then it was through martial arts, and now it's through making money. You know, and I honestly believe that the, the best way you can empower a woman is to help her be independent financially because then she has so much choice. You know, too many women are trapped in, you know, relationships and situations that they desperately want to leave, but they can't because financially they don't have the means. Um, you know, that was definitely my story. And so that's why it's so important for me to continue the work that I'm doing. And so I went through a bit of a rebellious stage. It's like, there's going to be nothing pink on my website. I'm not going to talk about the luxury stuff anymore because it's all bullshit. And blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's like, you might have seen everything was like black and white. And it was like this, me being the opposite of that. And I really dug into my uh, entrepreneur, uh, sorry, into my martial arts kind of persona and that alpha energy was there and the rebellious side of me was there and the fighter side of me was there and it's like you know don't fuck with me kind of attitude and you know I needed that I needed that armor because I needed to get through that that place of hurt that I was in and um you know that was me of all that's how I've dealt with all of the stuff you know the the childhood sexual abuse the domestic violence the you know the ex-husband from hell and you know, all of the stuff that I've ever had to rally against, that is the person that comes out. So it kind of made sense that, that she would be there for that situation, right? Um, so anyway, and then I, I it started to settle again. And I thought, and I actually spent all of January, like you can see my roots look horrendous. I haven't had my Botox updated. And I was basically in January, I'm not spending a cent. I'm not going to do one thing that looks luxurious. I'm not going to indulge in one thing. I'm going to get back to bare bones. I want to go full Spartan because, you know, that's who I am. And, you know, that's that's how I want to, that's what I want my brand to be about because I only want really tough women, you know, coming to me and, and I'm going to work with men as well. And my chair is distracting me. And so um, that's kind of where I was at, you know, and then... So I really put myself in this massive diet, you know, over all of January. And like, I'm, I'm not kidding. My nail polish, like I love this. Um, it's an OPI nail polish. It's called um, Tickle Me Frenchie. And it matches my ring perfectly. And I'm, I've run out. So I've got the, um, the nail polish remover in there. And I'm like trying to make it last. And my eyebrows haven't even, I've just had to pluck them. So I was, you know, I was committed to the process. And, but what I found was that I kind of miss that stuff a lot. It is part of who I am. And, you know, that is part of my brand. As much as I wanted to step away from it and disown it, because I think with all the bullshit out there, I didn't want to be seen to be somebody who was just one of the pack who was, you know, crapping on about, oh, the luxury life and you can have and buy anything you want and all that sort of stuff. It just felt so superficial all of a sudden. Um, but I'm owning it again, you know, hence the name of the group is Rich, Fit and Famous Online. And I will be launching my membership program again. It used to be the Anti-Hustle Society. Um, but I'm going to relaunch it as Rich, Fit and Famous Online because I thought, fuck it, that's what I want this year. You know, there is nothing wrong with wanting to be stinking, filthy rich. And I've got a whole bunch of different income streams um, in the works right now. So it doesn't have to ever rely on any one thing. And I'm going to be talking about that a bit in the group, you know, to help you guys to, to do the same. Um, and also, you know, so that the, it's like, I'm going to own it. I do, you know, the rich thing, 
I used to reject that word because it sounded like rich bitch snobby kind of stuff but it's like no hell, hell no I want to be rich so a lot of my passwords have rich written in them right now because that's the thing that I need to step into and own instead of skirting around the surfaces um, but I'm serious about it you know I'm deadly serious about um, you know last year as I said last year financially I'm surprised but it was um, it was my most financially successful year ever it's been a really slow start to the year uh, oh, actually no January was a good month um, November and De December were quiet because I basically wasn't doing a lot and even October wasn't great so I'm ready to kind of come back full full pelt again but so the rich thing is just yeah we all want to make money you know let's not pretend that we don't you know definitely our message is so so crucial and important we want to be driven by that always right um, and the impact that we want to have is of course without question but we can we can move forward without having to say I want to make money oh but you know I, I really am helping people you know just own it claim it that's what I'm doing so rich is in the title for a reason and the fit is in there because through everything that I've ever done Every time that I need to get back to me, I go to the gym or I go kick stuff, you know, and that's part of what developed me as a human. You know, I remember when I was um, really young, you know, I, I grew up in a family of smokers. Every, my nan smoked, my pa smoked, um, all my auntie smoked, my mum smoked, my dad smoked, my grandparents on my other side. Everybody smoked, like you grew up and that's just what they did, right? And so I remember growing up feeling like I wanted to be sporty <laughs> and there was no one in my household that was like that but I can remember being you know maybe 13 or 12 even and but I was certainly 13 and 14 I remember buying my first pair of runners and buying my first pair of like sh um, shorts that I could run in and I remember you know trying to run around the block and I remember every time that I was doing that and I sucked at it but every time that, you know, I remember thinking, I'll run just this far. And then I would go, next time I'm going to run to the next light post, you know, and I did that. No one taught me to do that, but I, I did it. And fitness, I remember it taught me about perseverance. And I remember it taught me about not quitting on myself. And I remember it, it just gave me time with my thoughts. And I remember feeling better. You know, I think from my childhood, I did have some post-traumatic stress stuff that you know you don't know to deal with when you're a kid but for me I remember feeling when I was out running and um, running was really the only thing that I could think of to do um, back then but I remember when I was out running I felt good and I felt good when I came back and I honestly believe that fitness and being in shape is the cornerstone it's the foundation that we all need to lay um, if we want to be dynamic and energized and impactful entrepreneurs and messengers that's what we need to be and you know that when you're um, sitting on the couch and eating crap that you're not vibrating on the same level as you are when you're taking really good care of yourself and you like what you see in the mirror right I mean that's just 101 so the fit stuff has to be in there now that's not about everybody having a six-pack and being able to you know do the the fish face selfie for Instagram it's not about that it's just about feeling good in your skin and perimenopause hit me pretty bad to be honest and um, I I've had my period this is too much information but hell I'm sharing everything um, for what would I say two and a half weeks now it's just shit and I didn't have one for four months before that so I'm thinking I'm going the full 12 months I'm there you know and then all of a sudden it arrived again and then yeah like two and a half weeks of hell and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere soon but you know I'm taking my Chinese herbs and I'm doing everything that I can there but it's a lot harder to to lose the body fat that I put on through too much wine last year it's a lot and not doing Taekwondo it's a lot harder than it ever was before but I'm more determined than ever and I'm approaching things in a much different way so there's no calorie counting going on there's nothing like that um, actually there's calorie counting but loosely and no um, macro counting or anything like that so it's just 
really loosely based on what I know works for me. I'm training more than I was training before and I'm feeling good and the weight is starting to come off, which is really, really good. It feels good, but more than anything else, my head feels really good. And so, you know, there's, we're all going to have stuff that gets in the way of being in shape and we all have these moments where you know we feel like it's not important to us and we let things go a little bit that's normal you know it happens to I never ever thought it would happen to me all through my 20s 30s even um, my early 40s you know I've always been someone who just trains every day and all that sort of stuff so I never really saw myself in a place where that fell away but you know it did and hello I'm human so the fitness stuff is really important because I notice as well that when I get back into it, I'm more excited about my business. I'm more excited about being on camera, all of those things, you know, so we need to take care of that. And the famous online thing is really important as well because without visibility, we're invisible and that's the reality of it. And so many people that I speak to, women entrepreneurs, you know, Facebook Live has been around for how long? You know, it really transformed my business in 2016, early 2017. That's why I had the best year I've ever had. Um, you know, I've had a steady climb every year, but it really jumped in that year, um, my income. And it was to do with Facebook Live. There's no doubt about it. So, so many women are saying to me, you know, oh, I really should do that. And I'm like, yeah, you should have done it 12 months ago. But there's still too many stories and too many you know preconceived limitations in the way to say um, you know I don't think I'm ready yet or I don't know that I want what I have you know I don't know what to say or anything like that so visibility is key it's important and I hadn't been showing up and my business declined that's just the way that it is and so now you know on my whiteboard over there there's the reminder about that I need to do this and why and it's not just about building my business but it's because I feel like I'm engaged and in touch with you guys so rich fit and famous online is where it's at and you know you'll see the tagline is I didn't come this far or you didn't come this far just to come this far so wherever you are even if you're comfortable it is not good enough you know there's a next level and we need to go for it so really 2018 is a massive year for me I've got so many things planned in this business but also with my other business um, with Katrina and that's an exciting time you know we, we we had a go at it last year and we found we were in the wrong market and just didn't you know we weren't really we, we weren't really attracting the right type of people to work with us and so what happened was we you know pulled the pin on that and we're relaunching this month actually um, doing something different and I'm really excited about that's more aligned with where we are um, and and where Katrina and I are at and the people that we want to work with um, so that's that's exciting too so I didn't come this far to just come this far you know I had my most successful financial year last year how the hell that happened I still don't know like I'm like there's something wrong here <laughs> and I went back and double checked and I'm like no the numbers are right um, you know I kind of knew roughly but it, yeah anyway um, so but I didn't come this far just to come this far you know this is this is the start really this is just the tip of the iceberg and so I had to go through that process last year of burning every to, everything to the ground just you know I ditched the art of kicking ass elegantly brand and I don't regret that actually um, so I, I ditched all of that threw everything out and went right I'm starting again but what I've found is I've wanted to salvage some things as I've you know spent January going you know I don't want any of that stuff and I'm just gonna be all about the, the martial arts stuff and all the rest of it it's like no there are some really good programs there and there are some really parts of my brand that I'm not ready to let go of so you know part of me just does the face palm like oh this has been so visible me going I'm doing this I, I met with a friend the other day and she goes so what are you doing I'm like I know it'll become clearer I promise but like I've confused the friggin internet for the last nine months I'd say but you know you can't rush these things and if you're in that transition state as well or if you've been going through that you really can't rush it I tried to and that's where I'm like oh I'm doing this now and then it's like oh shit it's not that I'm just gonna quietly go back again it's like I'm back and so you know I get that people are like what the fuck is she doing but I kind of needed to do that and each time I really did feel it was right but 
you know, like anything else, it was always under my nose. It was just, it wasn't the fact that I didn't want to work in this market. It was the way that I was working in it. And so these days, you know, I've done, you know, with Katrina and I, we did the, the high-end retreat, which was okay. And then we did the, you know, the high-end programs. We did the speaking on stage and all of that stuff. And within my own brand, you know, I was offering high-end coaching packages, my mastermind program, all of those things. I'm not doing that anymore. I just don't want to. So Katrina and I have a high-end package that we're selling to organizations. So that's taking care of the high ticket stuff. Um, but for my brand, for Michelle Hext and, you know, the Rich, Fit and Famous Online membership is going to be the first thing. It's all low end, high, low end, high impact. So what I want to be able to do is just be engaged, more engaged with you. And that's why I'm back. You know, I'm, I've missed it. I, I cleaned out my personal page and um, deleted 4,300 people because it's like I don't want to be faced with business. On my on my profile anymore I just don't want to do it I'm kind of miss you know I, I don't regret that decision but I'm kind of missing the interaction so maybe I'll slowly start to let people I've got a whole bunch of friend requests sitting there so I'm still tossing up whether how I feel about that but this group is definitely the, the step in the right direction for me because I want a place to be able to come and interact with you guys and keep the conversation open and to be of service you know and the, the Facebook page my Facebook business page um, it's getting more engagement so the the fact that I culled everybody from my profile and I've sent them all across to my business page has worked because there's definitely more engagement there it's growing all the time I'm just under 9,000 now um, so it's great you know but it's not the same as in the group and there are some things there are some things that I'm going through sometimes or some ideas that I have and I, I'm not prepared to share them on that page I want a, a more intimate more behind the scenes in, um, community to be able to do that and I want to hear about what you guys are going through as well because that's really important to me because it's going to help me to really make sure that the content that I'm creating and delivering both free and paid is on the money for you guys and you're getting what you need and I don't regret at all not offering a high-end product I think the highest product I've got is a it's like a strategy session kind of thing so I'm not doing any long-term group coaching anymore Katrina and I have some women that we have that we're working with for 12 months um, under our other business and that's that's great that's enough for me under my own brand I'm not doing that anymore it's just going to be the rich fit famous online program um, I have independent programs as well they're called $97 programs where you can go in and just purchase a, a, a program and just do it you know it's it's not it's all the information's there so there's workbooks there's videos if you've done any of my training before you know that it's usually pretty thorough but it's really about getting you to move forward it's not about this big long convoluted program and I made the decision that you know I myself have bought four or five six thousand dollar programs and not freaking use them you know I and I know when people were doing my kick-ass Academy that was happening there as well it's just human nature you know so I don't want people to be paying five grand for a program they're just not going to utilize so for me it's about let's just create solutions to common problems you know so I've got one program sitting there at the moment I I'll come back to that but the, the program is um, cash injection boot camp and it's really about how to just get a bunch of money into your business if you need to increase your cash flow because cash, cash flow is low um, that's a problem that people have so I wanted to create a solution for that my journaling program is in there as well um, I intended to do a couple of um, programs every month but I kind of got stuck because this has been calling me again so now that I've got this out of the way and I can come back in here and get my rich fit and famous online up and running um, I can go back and start to create those programs but just so you're clear it's you can just go and buy a $97 program, fix a problem there and then for 97 bucks, or you can join the Rich, Fit and Famous online um, membership, um, which is a no lock-in, and you just pay month by month by month, and you stay as long as you want. And the content's gonna be really focused on taking your business online or growing the online component of your business. So if you're a coach and, or, um, you know a stylist or a graphic designer or 
interior designer or someone like that and you have um, you know you work face to face with people and you want to leverage the online space then it's it's geared towards that or if you have an online business how to make that better and more impactful and make more money doing it so it's really geared towards that so if you are a service-based business and you have an online component or you want to create an online component to your business then that's the place for you to hang out um, you know I am my goal this year is a multi seven figure automated and recurring income for my own business. Uh, and so as I'm building that out, I'm learning so much. I just built out my membership site. Um, I'm going to be sharing all of that behind the scenes stuff with you. Um, and there's going to be a lot of tutorials because I know a lot of people get stuck with the tech stuff and that's the number one reason that they're not taking their business online. But honestly, I learned from, from nothing. And if I can do it, you can. And so I'll be creating a whole bunch of tutorials and then they'll be on demand as well. So if someone says to me, for example, you know, I want to create a sales page and put a, a buy now button, but I don't know how to do any of that. And I can whip up a tutorial and show you how to do that with screen flow, make it a video, put the steps there on a worksheet and away we go. So it's really, you know, I'm going to be ahead of it because I know what you guys need, but um, I'm also happy to just create information on demand as well. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about being back in this community. Um, I've really missed it. I've missed the interaction. And I've been online since 2006. And the last few months has probably been the first time where I haven't been fully engaged. And it feels, it's felt very lonely, to be honest. Um, yeah, luckily I have my business partner because we, we talk most days and like she's filling the gap a little bit and I've started my own peer mastermind as well that, um, yeah, it's going to be, you know, we're, we're, this, we're team, team seven figures this year, so we're going to smash it as well. But um, I've really missed the interaction of my community and it's just time for me to step back into it and I really hope you're going to be a part of it. Um, and... Yeah, I'm really excited to share with you what I'm learning and what's working for me so that you guys can be using it as well. Because honestly, what does it say? Um, the rising, t rising tide floats all boats, something like that. I really am more conscious than ever this year of helping the people that really want to be helped and are ready to do the work. So... I seem to have a lot of people in my community last year where there were a lot of excuses, a lot of you know nodding and smiling but no one doing the work um, and falling behind on things and all of that sort of stuff. So this group is about women who hustle and so the anti-hustle's gone. Now that's not to say that um, I expect everybody to work 24 seven, I certainly don't. It's Friday, I'm about to go to the shops. <laughs> I'm gonna go hit Meyer and David Jones because um, January's over. Um, and I've got the stuff to make up for. I need a new Chanel lipstick. So um, I'm not afraid to say it, but yeah, I, I want this community to be women who, you know, five years ago, I was really, I didn't know anything about, you know, I had an online business, but really I had no business having an online business because I knew jack shit about it. It was just pure freaking luck, honestly, that I was successful at it. But um, but I was an early, I was in there early, so that, that was in my favor. But, you know, I remember in those early days, I was the one who had to roll up my sleeves and do the work. I had to figure stuff out. I didn't have the budget. You know, I didn't have the budget to, for somebody to do all the things that I needed to be done. So I just had to figure stuff out, you know, and that's what makes me such a good entrepreneur because I can do anything if I like I say right now I'm building out a membership site and I'm excited about that because I can you know and I'm making a lot of mistakes I accidentally like made a big boo-boo and I had to reinstall everything like I've made mistakes many but I'm loving the process and it feels good to be learning and I'm consciously like oh I need to show people how to do this because it's actually not as hard as you think um, and there's so much that you can do yourself and so much that can elevate you and take you to the next level 
um, without you having to spend a lot of money and that's what this community is about but I want you doing the work you know I remember doing um, B school in I think it was 2012 2012 I think it was and I didn't have you know I was implementing everything that um, Marie was talking about and I didn't have the money to outsource there was no way I could get someone to outsource so I had to do it all myself and even when I've launched some brands that like my um, rip it up challenge I was really proud of that you know I built out the website I everything everything I did myself and when I launched that I made a few thousand dollars the day that I launched it um, because I had a really engaged market or audience and so when I released it it, it made a lot of money really really quickly um, and it hadn't cost me one cent to get up and running and that's the sort of stuff that I want to teach you guys because it can be done you know and, and far easier now than it was ever able to be done back when I was doing it so if you're here and you're ready to roll up your sleeves and do the work then you know you can have the success that you want but you've got to stop telling yourself you don't know how to do something you've got to stop handing over responsibility to other people you've got to stop avoiding the stuff you know and just get in there and do it and I know you can do it and if you're in a place of struggle and there are some women in my community that I know and love who have gone very very quiet and I know it's because they're struggling and I want to call you back I want to pull you back and say come on let's make this your year and um, there is no agenda for me oh, yeah I want you to sign up to rich fit and famous online I do of course um, because it's gonna be freaking awesome um, but the the agenda that I have is the common conscious growth of us as women entrepreneurs as a community as a sisterhood and that's more important to me than anything else so I hope you'll be a part of it and if you've made it this far go you um, I haven't had any live watches and that's okay um, I know you'll get to it when you can and just I guess you know to reiterate the rules of engagement about the group there's no you can only pitch on this day you can pitch whenever you want but do it with class you know don't do the whole drive by buy my stuff you know be in the group be of service come in here go live go hey guys I've just learned this and I want to share this with you or I've just had this win come in here go live do it I want to see you participating all right um, picture stuff that's fine but if you see someone say hey I need some help here roll up your sleeves get in there and help if that's something you can help someone with then do it you know we are going to rise together that is what this community is about so um, I'm excited to be back I really am I'm really it feels good for my soul to be back and I don't know if you remember but last year and like I've always been a crier like every time I do a live and get a little bit emotional it's like oh god the tears I got through this whole thing and I'm done with that I think I was just feeling so so fragile you know and whenever I spoke about my childhood I would get emotional and like I still feel it but it's not I don't have the depth of those emotions and I think I'm just yeah on the other side of that fragile state that I felt like I was in I felt really vulnerable last year but I'm feeling bulletproof this year and I want you to as well anyway I've rambled on long enough and there's shopping to be done so um, take care and please let me know your thoughts in the comments and I look forward to opening up the conversation a whole lot more and getting you guys interacting because that's what it's all about okay big love Mwah.